hello viewers have a good day welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how to prepare bar diagram and pie chart in QGIS so you can see here we have a study area and this is the layer within this layer you can see Kojibia subdivision so this is the subdivision map of the study area and at first I want to do pie diagram on the basis of available data so the thing is that where data is available so we know that data is available within this activity table so within this layer just click here and to go to open activity table and you can see here this is the subdivision name and this one two three four these are the different data that i have put here arbitrarily so this is the density then total male and female so these are the data which actually i have these are the data which i have already put here but if you want to know how to put this data here so i can show you how we can put this data i want to give one example for that at first you should go there and click this toggle editing when you click here you can see this is toggle editing mode when this option is activated then you go here this is the telephonic you can see symbol this is new field okay just click here so for example i want to add uh, one data like growth rate okay growth rate and the value that is the you can say decimal in number okay if that value is whole number like this uh, data then you can select the whole number integer okay if that value has the decimal point you can select this one okay then precision also you can select here two three so point after point i want to take only two precision and length of the value also you can select here okay then click okay so new field already added here so i have to give some value like 10.1 15.2 uh, 18.6 uh, 12.9 and the 8 so 8.8 .8. so these values giving here arbitrarily so according to your data you can put here and after that you go here you can see this is the save edit mode and click here so after this exit this table again if you go there and click sorry close it if you go here click open attribute table and you can see here this growth rate okay that means you can uh, add data according to my step okay now i want to do the pie diagram at first okay so how we can do pie diagram on the basis of my data so i want to again show my data that is uh, here subdivision wise density then total male female and growth so these are the data but i can uh, you can say prepare a pie diagram on the basis of this data that is total value male and female so on the basis of three on the basis of these three data i can uh, do the uh, pie chart, pie diagram okay so let's start so for that go to here again click this properties okay and within this uh, dialog box you can see here this is the diagram okay so diagram you can see here okay and after that you can see here the first box showing the no diagram so click this drop down menu and you can see here this is the pie chart so select this one okay after selecting this you will be see this attribute and and i want to select only those value by which i want to do the pie diagram so i want to select total then male and female you can select these three by using the control button from your keyboard then selecting after the selection press here this uh, plus icon so this assigned attribute table you can see here now this actually showing different color this total male and female you can also change this color okay how we can change i just i want to see here so if i want to change this color just double click here i want to select this uh, yellow color already selected here and i also want to change this color i want to take this one okay 
so according to your choice you can select your uh, the the uh, attribute color okay so after that just click here apply and you can see here the all the pi diagram all the pie chart you can you can see here showing within this each individual subdivision so now we can also you can say increase or decrease the size of pie chart how we can do that you may go to within this size okay so you can increase this is the fixed size 15 so you can increase this size okay like i want to give 20 and you can i want to move here and after that i want to click apply so you can see there the size of pi of each individual subdivision also increases so now we can see the pi diagram on the basis of each subdivision okay now i want to prepare the final layout of this uh, pi diagram so for that, go to project then go to print new print layout so i want to give the name is layout then click here okay and i want to do this very fast and you can see my previous tutorial uh, about the preparation of the final layout okay so you can see here and go below click this frame so frame will come and after that to go to grid i want to give a sign grid modify grid then you can give here one and one and i need to see the values so you can click here or you can increase the value like uh, four four okay and change click here default setting so you can see here, this is my uh, red red longitude and i want also want to height these lines from this uh, diagram so click here line style and just click here this within this uh, color then go below select this draw coordinate and select uh, degree minute okay degree and minute then go below select this uh, within this right vertical ascending and you can select outside frame or inside frame according to your wish okay then similarly from the left vertical ascending then go again below precision you should give here zero okay click here front within this front and assign it is about 16 okay then go below everything is now we can see here very uh, clearly so other thing you can give here okay everything is okay now i want to mention here scale so here i want to mention the scale okay so now you can go here you can see kilometer you can select kilometer miles another thing and then the style okay scale and similarly you can also assign the primary and secondary division i want to give primary division is three and secondary division is like this okay you can increase or decrease this scale is okay then i want to mention the north line here so select this area so north line automatically will come and finally i want to create legend so select this one and select some areas from your map okay so then this i want to mention the uh, legend so after that within this properties click here auto update and i want to edit this this is the distribution of of population so we can rectify this not only that you can do so many things from here 
and I want to give a frame okay so go so we go below click here frame okay and after that I want to give one line here that is the out outer line so go here within this shape select this add rectangular okay and I want to take a line or rectangular from here okay so just click here within the style then click here simple fill so now just click here then transparent fill now increase the stroke width okay and i want to also if you want to change the color you can also select from here whatever color you want you can select from here okay so stroke width also you can change or increase okay similarly like this now i want to give a uh, the heading so you can see a text select this and select some areas and i want to write here something e uh, pie chart showing pie diagram showing history vision of population okay distribution of population then go below you can select symbol as a bold and like 36 whatever you can you can select from here now you can extend this extend this and you can reduce i think front size is uh, white large okay then you can also extend this one everything is showing now you can set is within this middle portion and you can also change the color of the heading so like this so you can see here everything is now visible so next work is uh, save this uh, output as a file so click here layout and you can save this as a export as image so click here then uh, i just want to write layout pi okay then save then click here save okay now we can go here within this uh, quick access and just double click here and this is our output map so by this way you can do your work so thank you for watching and keep subscribe my channel for more video and more update thank you thank you again